in the process of developing the saddle, we developed totally new technology that wasn't even available five years ago. Bearhan brought to us state-of-the-art global technology, which we frankly couldn't do in our existing facilities, and we manufacture saddles in South America, in England, and in India, all in the most modern facilities that are available, and yet this, this technology was nothing that we had been exposed to. When we first talked with Gary in Polo Gear, he told me, I, I, I'm not putting any limit on you. Just get the best done for the best performance, the best quality, and the highest possible level we can find anywhere in the world. Each component of the saddle, we have gone wherever it takes to get the absolute best. And we incorporated the fit aspects that, that had made the Verhand saddle the choice of over 500 FEI riders that are currently using the saddle. FEI is the international level riders. The real challenge was to keep the rider in a forward position on top of the horse, but without putting weight on the shoulder of the horses. And we're very proud to see that we did achieve that goal. We really needed physically to lift all the burden that we were putting on the shoulders of the horse. And the way we did it is by creating a special panel where all the weights of the rider and the saddle are set behind the shoulder, leaving from the line from the shoulder forward very, very light. The contact in that is just for stability. It doesn't carry any weight. There are three different types of leather we use in our saddles. Uh, the seats are come from Italy, the panels come from England. Um, the flaps, we've developed a totally new um, leather that is quite remarkable. The leathers are a little bit like the wine. They are subject to climate and, and conditions where the, the, the cattle grows. So you can have very good leather one year and next year might not be that good. So our team of saddle masters in Europe, they travel all over and they make sure that whatever leather we're using every year is the best quality leather we can find in the world in that moment. A lot of players have preferred suede, which is basically leather that is run through a brushing thing and it roughs the leather because it gives you better grip. We don't like suede because it's, it gets smooth very quickly. Actually, within a couple months of constant use, all of a sudden the suede's worn out and the, the saddle's smooth. When we set out to do the new saddle, I wanted to make sure that we had a saddle that gripped well because that's what all the top players wanted all the players wanted a good grip in the saddle and everybody was saying suede but we felt we could do something better so we developed our special leather in the flap that is has an incredible grip i mean twice the grip of any suede and it's that way from right out of the box and we were able to develop the special elephant print leather we put the oil in so we don't have to treat it after it got here and it's really revolutionary and remarkable and the players are just loving it we got lucky enough to find in england this leather that we call the elephant leather because of the shape and the, 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 sup, so the suppleness of the leather and the ability of the leather to adapt to the horse and to grip to the leg of the rider is a tremendous uh, plus. Elephant uh, leather on the, on the side panels is amazing. Everyone says this amazing. The way they stick in, they don't move at all. And the saddles don't move at all. I mean, you'll see, coming back from every chucker in a normal saddle, you'll see the saddle probably two or three, four inches back from where it started originally with older saddles. Well, that's tightened the breastplate, that's tightened everything on the horse's chest, which is obviously going to restrict their movement, restrict their stride, their turning ability. With this saddle, it's set in one place, which you've accommodated the breastplate around and all of that, so nothing's tight around their chest, nothing's restricting their, their shoulder movement. The tree is the, the foundation of the saddle, and if you don't have a tree that conforms with the horse's back, you end up inadvertently putting pressure points on the horse. Our saddle is completely adjustable. The tree is adjustable. It's um, the finest German steel. 
And because of that, we can actually change the shape of the tree anytime we want. We have hydraulic equipment that bends the tree. It can change the shape. We can change the angle. We can change the shape of, of the tree, thus accommodate any horse we need. The wool in our saddles. Our saddles are all hand flocked, which gives us another component of adjustability. That allows us to fine tune the, the saddle. Even when we have the tree that's adjustable, um, we want that to, to fit con contour to the horse's back. But then because we individually stuff the panels with um, the finest double washed merino wool that has an eight percent synthetic polyester added to it for stability, uh, it really gives us a very stable system. The most other sandal makers that even use wool just use regular wool and it tends to clump. By putting the 8% polyester in, we avoid all that and get rem remarkable consistency. The panels of the saddles traditionally are with a, a mold uh, foam pad. Now we're using wool padding. That free us completely, so in a very easy way and in a very quick way, we can reshape the panels to accommodate changes on the horses. The billets are from Switzerland. Uh, again, the finest in the world are so double chrome. They come from Switzerland. It's actually the strongest leather in the world uh, that's made from this double chrome process. And honestly, the billets on our saddles cost more just as raw materials than a lot of cheap polo saddles cost to make. And also we knew that we had to have the basic fit concepts that, that have been proven in dressage, um, a wider gullet, panels that fit on the proper place on the horse's back, adjustability in the panels, the right material in the panels, etc. So that was our objective. We knew we had to solve those problems and in the, the Polo Gear Nick Rodan Elite Saddle, we have done that and, uh, and had remarkable results.